Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Game Vault video. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault, and yeah, it's June 1st. And we're going to talk about something from a couple days ago that popped up onto my radar uh, during the state of play from Sony. So let's cue up the music and we'll get right into it. All right, so the state of play came out, and it was a mixed bag with a lot of bad stuff in it, I'll be honest with you. I was really not that impressed. In fact, the last couple presentations that Sony's done overall have been underwhelming at the best. I've been, you know, some have been just downright bad, but underwhelming has been the best I've seen. And this one was another underwhelming one. There were a couple bright spots that looked pretty good, and we'll talk about those in a different video. This is something I was really, really, really looking forward to, and it turned out to be a huge disappointment, and that is the Silent Hill 2 remake for a couple reasons. Um, one, it, it, you know, it, it has that feel of the old school Resident Evil Silent Hill type gameplay, you know, but, but now it's got that more modern over the shoulder perspective that'll give you better gun combat and stuff like that. So it looks like there's a, you know, They've upgraded that very nicely. The The look of Silent Hill is okay, but that fog, that that ever-present fog is gone. And I understand the reason it existed in the first place was to um, make up for the hardware capabilities of like the PlayStation 2 era, right? It couldn't render as, enough stuff at, the, at once, so if you put that fog in there, it kind of made rendering the backgrounds and all that in the environments a lot easier on the system and it enabled these these environments to exist the way they did with the detail they did um, the fog just kind of covered everything else up to keep it quote unquote off camera which made it better but that doesn't look that great the voice acting is okay you know it's it's not it's not that, that bad the character design is pretty good for the most part it doesn't look next generation though I'll tell you that it does not look PlayStation 5 Xbox Series X and S generation graphics. Absolutely not. Not even close, you know. Um, and then you got this. This is Angela from the uh, original game. Let's go ahead and take a look at what she looked like in Silent Hill 2. So this is uh, the character from Silent Hill 2, the original. That's what she looked like, and now she looks like this. And this reeks heavily of what else? DEI. We've been talking about it a lot on this channel. I know it pisses a lot of people off to hear me talk about it. I'm going to talk about it until it's dead in the water and gone from gaming for good. That's my goal is to do whatever I can to help make that happen. There's a lot of people working for that. And the more people that work on that, um, the bigger chance we have of getting this cancer cut out from gaming because it's absolutely ruining gaming and it's i believe it's a big part of why gaming is failing right now on such a big level but we'll talk about that in a minute uh, but in any case let's look at the story this is from that park place and of course i'll link to it down below in the description but following the release of the new trailer for konami and bloober team's upcoming silent hill 2 remake a sweet baby ink style consultancy called Hit Detection is being accused of pushing the woke DEI agenda on the game. In a trailer released as part of Sony's State of Play presentation for May 30th, the character design of Angela, who will henceforth be known as Trangela from me, is being criticized for making her face plumper and uglier. Ex user Manga Lawyer posted In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill 2, modern cheeseburger remake. You promised me you'd take me there again someday with a side of fries and a milkshake. But that day never came. The Crimson Chin. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I did a little, little something there. But yeah, this is, you know, here's a side by side of the two pictures. It's just absolutely awful. This has to change. They can't let this ride out to the main game comes out. Because if, if this is what they're going to do, and, this, and I'm going to tell you exactly what they're doing here. They're doing what they do a lot in Western releases is they make women uglier, fatter, and they destroy their, their figure, right? And they do that to appease a very small but very vocal um, 
group of people involved in gaming, whether it be the the idiot writers or the idiot developers or the idiot um, you know journalists and then the players themselves that you know are part of this trans community and they want everything to be inclusive for everybody well I'm sorry that does not work okay it doesn't work you can't make something for everybody you can't make a meal that everybody's gonna like you can't make a movie that everyone's gonna like you can't make a video game that everyone's gonna like you have to target a demographic and if these companies were smart they would target a demographic that actually buys their game and exists in large numbers which is dudes straight dudes and you know <laughs> straight white dudes is probably the biggest portion of the market I know they say the market is shared Close to 50-50 by women and men, but that's an untrue number because they are including um, mobile games, you know, the phone games and all that. And those things, while they exist and they are a form of video game of some sort, they don't cross over into the console and PC market that much. I mean, you're going to have some crossover here and there, but for the most part, they exist in a separate ecosphere, right? And I don't think they should be included in that. If you broke it down by, like, you know, FPS shooters, how many FPS shooters do you think, how many players, what percentage do you think are not just straight up boneheaded dudes? I don't even talk about color in that regard. I'm sure, you know, they're all colors in there. But dudes, we like FPS shooters, right? Especially the ones where you get to kill other dudes around the globe and all that. And that's why so many of these um, arenas games fail because they have all these weird colorful you know we, we saw what they're doing with concord and, and again we're not going to touch on that right now but it looks like absolute trash but yeah this looks like this looks bad man it's kind of like what they did from aloy from one horizon game to the next and it's what they're doing to the character in fable and it's just so gross man it's absolutely gross not only is the character's design being lampooned but so is the voice acting x user uh really underscore username wrote Please tell me I'm not the only one who genuinely thinks that the voice acting is way worse now in Silent Hill 2 Remake, especially for Trangela. Here's some comparisons, and you know, you come and listen to these on your own down here. As for why the character of Tran Trangela was redesigned from the original game, Mangalore speculates it's due to the influence of game consultancy hit detection. He posted on X, Blue team has hired Sweet Baby Inc. 2.0 hit detection, a sensitive consulting company for Silent Hill 2 Remake and ESG Konami. Ever wondered why Maria looks so sanitized? Not spoiling the game, but it's over, bros. Pack your things. When they said modern audience, they meant it. I, that whole modern audience thing is absolute garbage. Well, who is Hit Detection, right? So we're going to go to their website. This is um, you know, hitdetection.com. If you want to check it out for yourselves, again, all these links will be down below. Um, Hit Detection is a video game consulting firm with a global presence. We bring decades of experience in games, media, consumer electronics, and interactive entertainment to deliver the most comprehensive and accurate insights to clients who have trusted us for many years. Now, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Right? It's just such a... These guys, when they, they make their mission statements or they tell you what they do and all that, they leave these, like weird ambiguous statements out there so okay the first sentence they're a video game consulting firm with a global presence that's a solid sentence okay i get that all right so you exist and you consult video game for whatever reason and um you're all over the all over the world cool i get that part we bring decades of experience in games media okay well, what kind we don't really specify that consumer electronics and interactive entertainment to deliver the most comprehensive and accurate insights to clients who have trusted us for many years. Well, what clients? I mean, and what kind of insights do you bring? That's what I want to know. What kind of insights do you bring to a game? Are you teaching, are you consulting on how to design side quests to make them more interesting? Because that would be a great consulting firm if somebody went and did that instead of all these garbage fetch quests. Um, are you out there teaching companies how to make collectibles more fun and more integral and you know an integral part of the game as opposed to something that you you gotta just fast travel around the map and it's a bunch of busy work to get them sometimes at the end of the game are you are you in there trying to 
teach these companies how to structure a story and go from act one to act two to act three and have great character arcs and create believable characters with with awesome dialogue and all that no you're not you're, 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 you're this is not what they do they go in there and they they count the black people and they count the trans people and they count the gay people and they see how many romance options there are for gay people and they want to make sure that that hairstyle and the custom creator where the half the hair is shaved is in every single game as well as the killmonger hair and you know it's just absolute stupidity right um so the next thing they go on to say among the esteemed clientele that we are able to publicly reveal huh we have provided services for the like of blue routine obviously remedy and sega well remedy yeah we've talked about them already so i want to know why their esteemed clientele they're not able to publicly reveal them and i'm wondering if six months ago that was a different story if they had a whole list on here of all these different companies they worked with but since the sweet baby ink backlash occurred things have changed i'm kind of curious about that one but um our commitment to building a team from a variety of backgrounds including underrepresented groups is a superpower that allows us to provide unique and varied perspectives setting us apart from other firms this diversity is a strength that fortifies our insights and gives us a natural advantage within the consulting landscape. No, it doesn't. You're just like every other group of idiots that, that calls themselves a consulting group. You're just like Sweet Baby Inc. You're just like Black Girl Gamers, only you probably have more than just a bunch of black girls in there. I, it's, it's all the same garbage. You want to push out all these weird DEI agenda things that that ruin games they, they absolutely ruin games i've asked people before and i'll ask you again tonight if you disagree with what i'm saying give me one example where dei has improved something and made it better where a diversity hire has improved something right give me one example please nobody can do it they'll call me names they'll you know they'll crap on my video and and give me a hard time and all that and i don't care about any of that crap i'm waiting for the one guy that can actually give me an example so we can have a discussion because i would love to have that discussion hit detections current consultants boast impressive resumes having worked with world-renowned media outlets and institutions including riot games blizzard ea obsidian Eurogamer, seen at the verge polygon GameSpot, edge games radar wired and ign former consultants from our ranks have gone on to join prestigious companies such as playstation which has really let me down lately Larian Studios, the company that released the super um, woke Baldur's Gate 3. Great game, but I just couldn't play it. It got so aggravating. Xbox, which is now the woke box. EA, which is a garbage company. And level infinite Tencent. I think they're mainly... Tencent's pretty big. I think they're mainly a, a mobile game company, if I'm not mistaken, right? But hit detection leverages its greatest strengths to accurately predict media and consumer expectations at every stage of the development process. From ideation and pre-production to alpha and launch, we ensure your games resonate authentically with your players. Actually, you don't. You do the opposite. If you're forcing diversity into a game, there's nothing authentic about it. Just look at the clown show surrounding the latest Assassin's Creed Shadows that's coming out later this year with the gay black samurai as the main character. You can't make that game more of a joke if you tried. You really couldn't. I mean, that's that's the pinnacle of woke stupidity in that game. And it's absolutely insane. I just don't get it. So, yeah, they tell you all the different stuff they do, competitive analysis, yada, 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 mock reviews, and, you know, there's their little things there. They're, they're different people they work with. Let's go over to who we are. We'll take a look at this. Yeah, this is going to be shocking right here, but the leadership is a black guy. And an Asian woman. This looks like the couple in every single commercial you see on TV anymore, right? It just couldn't get any more perfect than this. I mean, you know, all we need is this guy being like, Oh, I need to fix the plumbing because the toilet's leaking upstairs. And then she makes a joke about how inept he is. And they're just going to hire roto Rooter to come out or something like that. But yeah, Sterling McGarvey's the head of consulting. Elizabeth Ty, the head of operations. There's their logo, known as the Defender, inspired by classic arcade shooters. I will give them this is a nice logo. Um, it does play, uh, pay homage to Gaming Humble Origins. This looks like something from um, like Asteroids or Tempest, something like that. One of those old, old games that was just so great. So 
kudos on your logo, but otherwise your company sucks ass. Sterling McGarvey is the uh, head of consulting at Hit Detection. He brings a wealth of insight and gaming knowledge. Prior to joining the company in 2014, he honed his skills with EA Games Evaluation Team and spent seven years in games media as a reviews editor for renowned publications including IGN G4 and Games Radars. I, I looked up, he's done, yeah, he did quite a bit of uh, writings there, but it's not all the writing he's done. Um, he's got a keen understanding of games and how reviewers and players assess them has significantly enriched Hit Detection's reports, particularly in the realm of onboarding and new player experiences. Well, I don't think you're going to be getting a lot of people on board with this latest game, man. In fact, I think you got a lot of people jumping ship because I've seen it all over Twitter, and I know I'm going to do it myself. I am not buying this stupid-ass game if you're going to make a character look like that for no reason whatsoever. You know, we... And, and this is happening in film. This is happening in TV. It's like everybody's getting ugly, right? If I want to see ugly people, I'll go look in the mirror, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's... I don't want to see ugly people in my entertainment. I want to see people that are, you know, they're better looking people. That's what you want. You expect that out of movies and all that. You're paying for an experience, right? You don't watch sports to see untalented people play a game. You could do that in any ballpark around the nation, right? So just give me a break. It's such a clown show. Uh, Elizabeth Ty joined Hit Detection in 2012 and quickly learned that she had an uncanny knock for understanding operational intricacies, leading her to become Hit Detection's head of operations. Her obsession with detail, some might call obsessive, ensures seamless workflows and optimized processes. She's very boring compared to him, and he's not very exciting, so there's that. And he uh, actually uh, has a little article here I found by him that wasn't on any of those mentioned um, websites from before, like Game, Games Radar or anything like that. This one's from The Root. Now, if you don't know The Root, The Root's part of this group here. Gizmodo, uh, Jalopnik, Kotaku, Quartz. Yeah, it's just absolute garbage, woke companies that are all failing and probably won't be around in another five years. I have a feeling most of these are going to end up being bought out, shut down, or just plain disappear into the sunset within the next five years. But he writes a article about Jerry Lawson brought black excellence to video games and revolutionized the entire industry. Black excellence. Imagine anyone writing about, you know, Paul Smith brought white excellence to video games and, you know, it, it's just, no. He worked with the video game cartridge, right? He helped, he invented it, I guess he's saying, as a pioneer in the industry. Lawson is responsible for the video game cartridge. Some of you remember blowing on them. To make them work yeah i bet you blow a lot of things to make them work buddy while others remember your elders telling you about them as you wait to download a new update for whatever game you're playing right now either way it's all good so yeah how true is this i don't know you know a lot of times these people like to do revisionist history and all that um but if jerry lawson and, and i'm sorry i don't believe people anymore because i read so much crap on the internet that's fake i mean all these people talking about yasuke being a black samurai and all that trying to rewrite history this guy could be doing the same thing there, but if not, then Jerry Lawson, thank you for the game cartridge. You enter, you helped me. He entertained as a child. I don't care what color you are, you're the man. You know. So yeah, here's his article there. We'll link to it so you can check it out yourself. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely wild what's going on here. You know. So these guys work with Bluebird, and um, let's take a look at Bluebird real quick here. Um, I think. I've played something else by them. No, this is not what I want. I think I've played something else by them. Projects. Here we go. Uh, Silent Hill 2, Layers of Fear, Horror Reimagined. I think that's a remake of the original Layers of Fear. And then you got Layers of Fear 2, Medium, Observer, Blair Witch. No, I guess not. I haven't played anything by Bluebird. I thought they did another remake of something that I played, but I guess I'm mistaken right there. Huh. Yeah, well, here's their team of... Um, Wow, now I see why they hired him. This is not very diverse at all. This is this is the most white people I've ever seen in one place. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That's really funny, actually. <laughs> this is <laughs> yes, diversity's our strength. <laughs> God, they're such freaking hypocrites. It's not even funny. 
Well, yeah, let's get back to uh, our friend here, Trangela. You know, it was kind of funny because, you know, I saw, I watched the state of play and all that and, and came across Shawnee Benson, who kind of looks a little like, like Trangela, you know? Trangela. I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. Is that like a self insertion? I know these. These weirdos like to do that, but yeah, I guess she's the director. She, her, I assume. I don't know. I'm, I know this is not a girl, but whatever. Director, head of portfolio, global third-party relations. I understand she, he, whatever it is, pushed for a lot of indie games and all that, including Stray back in the day, which I enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. But Stray then got attacked for, like, taking <laughs> Asian culture and infusing it into cyberpunk world in a way that, oh, it's, it's just it never ends my friends it never ends it never ends but yeah yeah shawnee benson who is at shawnee the girl oh yeah we do have profile we do have uh um, pronouns in a profile wow this is definitely a dude you don't yeah you don't go this far <laughs> unbelievable don't don't harass this person at all it's you know i'm just pointing something out here that We've got to get these people out of positions of power in this industry because as long as they're controlling things and and um, producing garbage like this, it's going to continue to happen, right? Don't buy these things when they come out, you know. Don't buy them. I'm not buying it, you know. It'll be half price within six months and it'll be a quarter price within a year and it'll probably end up being free on the PlayStation um, PS Plus you know, a year and a half down the road, maybe even sooner, who knows. Um, so if you really want to play it that bad, just wait it out. I, I doubt you're really going to be missing out on anything. Can't wait to see the reviews for it. It's a game I that I hold near and dear to my heart, the original Silent Hills. Um, and I love horror games. I love these survivor horror games, these Dead Spaces and and um, Resident Evil and stuff like that. So this breaks my heart, but I have to, I have to stand by my feelings and say, no, I'm not... I'm not going to entertain this. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to throw my money at any company that deals with these con consulting firms anymore. I'm done doing it. It's the only way to win this culture war is to stop giving them your money. So anyway, leave a like on the video down below if you agree that this DEI crap is just way too much in this industry and it's just taking things over and ruining a lot of stuff. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you guys tomorrow when inevitably we're talking about more of this crap. Until then, peace.